Good morning. This is Keith Peterson. Welcome to my Cardinal. I am en route to Iowa Falls, and uh, I'm going to do a procedure. So I hit the procedure button. I'm going to fly RNAV 31. What's interesting about this is it shows you what the procedure is here. RNAV 13 looks like that. I scroll down to RNAV 31. It looks like that. So I'm going to fly the RNAV 31. Enter. And I'm going to go to V on. Enter. So now I'm going to go direct to that VN. And it shows me what the route is. It's a little bit of a adjustment to the left, and then we'll let it capture there. Okay, so I have direct VN. Airplane's going to turn slightly here for us. Back to map mode. And now my uh, route is set. I am uh, 23 miles out, and it appears that the, uh, the way that the I-50 has planned my re approach here it's going to take me through one loop of a procedure turn. So I'm going to go ahead and arm the uh, autopilot for an approach. And then we'll see if it flies this whole procedure. That's a pretty tight turn there, so it'll be interesting to see how the 3100 deals with that. So I'm one minute away from my uh, turn here. I'm at 4,000 feet. Everything's set up. I'm going to slow down here in a little bit. Well, it's pretty much a little bit. It's now one minute. I'll go ahead and pull throttle a little bit. Give it a little better chance of connecting up on this. See the electric trim running. 110 knots. I have a false traffic cardinal, 7 kilo pop. I'm going to be shooting the uh, GPS 3 1. I have a false. See my little airplane coming in on the chart here. So it's activated the next leg, which is the hold. Exiting hold it fix, it says. So that was indeed a very tight turn. It's physically correcting its way back in. Doing a nice job of it, I must say. We're at 100 knots. Back on course now. Right on the course line. Activating the next leg. Well, how far is this? It's at least three miles, it looks like. Four miles. Well, four miles and 100 knots. Let's see. The gadget says here that I will be uh, passing the uh, approach fix beyond in five minutes. You can see the approach it shows here, too. You can zoom in a little bit on it, and we can watch it on the Aspen. You can also see the little airplane flying along the approach plate down here. Zoom in on it a little bit if we want. So we're flying along on the chart. We're flying in nav mode. We're flying in Aspen. All right, we've activated the inbound course now. And uh, two minutes until we exit uh, at the fix. OK, 
Okay, we transition over to LPV here now. We're at the approach. We've activated the inbound leg. We do have a glide slope starting to show here. We go to the uh, synthetic vision view. We can see the glide slope coming in. Also see the glide slope over here in the Aspen. Oh, we'll go back to map mode. Okay, the little flag here says begin descent in four, three, two seconds. Looks like minimums are 1387. So we're still flying our course inbound here. Got the runway visible up ahead there. Iowa Falls, Cardinal 7 Kilo Pop. I'm uh, on file now on the GPS approach for 31 Iowa Falls. We'll make it a full stop. Heading down at 400 feet per minute. Hold on glide slope. I'm going to pull throttle a bit more. Notch of flaps. Giving the autopilot something to work with here on pitch. Okay, we're at 100 knots. We're about uh, 5 miles from the other runway. Go ahead and put the gear down. That'll definitely give us some drag, and I want to probably power up for that. Sure, uh, rich a bit more. Gear's down, got a green light, got a wheel. Mirror says I got a nose wheel. The only thing we have to run is the throttle. And I can imagine that. Uh, Aztec might be thinking about how to fix that. So double checking, 1387 is still the number. Still inbound on the course here. Little airplane here making its way in. I can zoom in. Oh, that's about it. Crossing through 2000. Iowa Falls, Cardinal 7 Kilo Pop on one mile final, 3 1 full stop. Iowa Falls. 1 1 way, we got it. Here's down. I'm going to slow down a little bit, get another notch of flaps in here. We are at 1480, that is the missed approach point, so I'm going to uh, cancel the autopilot and the flight director and go ahead and land it. 75 knots, prop forward, rich, two notches, gears down. Yeah, puts you up in a real nice position for that here. Hardly have to do a thing. You might have noticed that I had STEC 3100 in the title, but barely mentioned the autopilot through this whole approach and landing. The fact is, after you turn on the autopilot and gauge approach mode, it pretty much just flies the plan. You don't really have to think about it, which is the way it should be. It flies that plan much more faithfully and more crisply than the 60-2 that I used to have. And in all, I've been real impressed with just how well this um, flies the airplane for you and, and uh, lets you concentrate on the approach. It just makes it easier than ever to do approaches like this. Nice little airport. Well, now where to park, where to park. See a hangar door open there. I suspect that crowd is my group. Hi there, gentlemen. And we have arrived. 